This is so much thicker than I remember it before. I mean, that's dense. Better to try and find a way. So this is just a look into a bit of a follow-up on my, I say review in November, it's more of a preview. Um, I purchased this in November of 21. I've now had it six months, used it about 11 or 12 times, and I put between 30 and 35 hours sat in this chair um, in sunshine, in rain. Um, and I did a few modifications in December, so if you wanna see the mesh cover I put inside or the porch kind of rain cover um, I'll show you a little snippet on the side um, here I've shown you the kind of just a few bits I did so my thoughts like I said I bought this in November and I bought it second hand it had only been used I think once or twice in the garden um, looking at a bird feeder. I believe I paid £45 for it. A lot of people have asked me where you can buy them from, so I've actually left a link in the description below. Uh, it's a link to Amazon. It is an affiliated product, so I do earn you know, a small uh, amount on it, but I found that to be uh, one of the best prices around. I recommend it because if I didn't have it, if I hadn't managed to pick one up second hand, I would, having known how, how good they are for the money, I would have bought it a year or two before instead of just waiting to see everyone come up second hand. So I thought today I would just run over some of the pros and cons that I have found in the six months of owning it. I'm in a patch that I frequent fairly often and I think it's the first time I've been here kind of in the middle of summer. Usually it's an autumn spot for me for the deers. So usually all the, um, all the ferns are kind of waist height a beautiful kind of orangey red colour but this time of year they are bright green in full outness for want of a better word uh, and some of these have actually been over six foot tall so I've really struggled to find I mean I knew the tree that I was heading for and usually there's quite a nice path but this year they've gone absolutely mad I've never seen it this thick uh, in this little stretch of woods. But I've still managed to find my little clearing and this is where I've set up. I could hear Badger earlier this morning on the way back, on the way out from the camper on a mound that I have to walk over and round. It had been, looked like it had been disused for a long time. But there's uh, an entrance going into it that's been freshly dug. I don't think it's big enough to be Badger but um, on the way out I will I will check for scrapes, etc. Anyway, back to uh, back to the chair. Uh, good points and bad points. I'll start with the bad uh, because there's there's not really many. I'm five six, and up to six foot you're going to be okay, but above six foot you're going to start finding a, you know you'll end up crouching down a lot more. Um, if you want to sit more upright in it. It's very difficult because it starts to curve, you know, as soon as it comes up. So you end up either leaning forward on it or you end up, like I do, just wedge myself down a bit. So that's no major thing. But when you're in it for hours upon, a, you know, hours at a time, you want to be able to kind of stretch your back. And so you just have to kind of lean forward and 
and stretch. I sprayed it with Nick Wax Tent Spray. I think I gave it three or four coats. That has made a massive difference to its waterproofness. With the front zipper undone, when it rains, it does just come straight in because obviously it's curved, which is why I built the little porch and that has stopped the rain coming in completely. It hasn't altered packing it away or there's been no downside to having quickly made a little kind of porch rain cover. And although it's got a cup holder, I wish it had an extra, like a hanging pouch for putting like mobile phone, a few things like that. So really the, the negatives are a personal negative. So there are three main things. The waterproofness, it is, it is waterproof. It's not downpour proof. And any rain that does get through, it runs down the inside. So it's waterproof, you know, as much as you aren't gonna get drowned. And the height, that was the second thing. You're okay if you're a bit shorter, or you might just need to slouch a bit. And the third thing is, it could do with an extra a hanging pocket that a lot of these do have with them. So it's one thing I will be adding to it, just a little hand, hang down pocket to put a few extra bits and bobs. Now the pros and the upsides of it, it's really inexpensive. It's 70 pound, complete with the chair, which if you were to buy are between 15 and 20 pounds. It's not heavy. Um, it's not particularly large when it's packed away. Um, for the full spec on that, just have a look at the November video, which I will leave a link at the end of this video. There's plenty of room inside. I have not struggled to get my camera bag, my tripod, um, even though, and it holds a few extra um, things on the, the tripod. I haven't found a lack of room at all. I like the little windows, the zip, there's like four windows all round. Again, I'll show you here that they're just handy to have. It just means that you can unzip them. They are a little bit noisy, so when you unzip, if you just run your finger down it at the same time, it quietens it down a bit. Sorry, the flies are mad here. Uh, so you, know, you can unzip a little bit and, and look around you know, your peripheral zones. It's a good color camouflage. Very quick and simple to set up. Another small issue that I have found is that where the metal pieces are for the archway, you have to be careful um, that it doesn't uh, rub away. I mean, it is rubbing some holes in there. And I'll show you from the inside that, um, that it is rubbing away um i mean i've i think it's going to be a case of that whole piece behind um i should just put uh, a couple of pieces of duct tape on the inside uh, and maybe a piece on the outside i do have some um camouflage tape but any color really you know would do the job so i think that's pretty much all the questions that I had um, from you guys uh, in the last six months addressed. Would I recommend it? Yes. Would I definitely want to own one? Yes. For the £70 that it costs, I really don't think you could do any better. There are some other makes out there. Some of the pop-up hides I think are excellent. Tragapan do a whole range very interested in in seeing some more of those i have seen a few of them and i have had the chance to to fill the material but i think when you're starting out and you just want a quick simple hide you can just take with you plop down spend some time in get to do some one-to-one -one with the wildlife i really don't think you can go wrong like i said i'll put a link below um, for the nick wax spray and for the hide um, on amazon like I said, it's an affiliated link, so I don't earn, I do earn uh, a small fraction of it through them. If you've got any other questions that you can, that you think of, um, leave a comment below or you can message me. Well, I hope this has helped answer any 
questions that you may have niggling in the back of your mind um, to make you decide whether to go out and purchase one or not and giving you some ideas, just a few extra little things that you can do to them to make them so much more usable. Very quick, simple, budget, add-on extra pieces that make it just that little bit better. Um, I hadn't seen many long-term reviews on YouTube, which is why I decided to do this one because plenty of people have done videos on having just bought one and what they think but I really wanted to do a follow-up video just to show that whether it's worth purchasing or not purchasing right well I'm gonna just sit here and finish my coffee and enjoy this beautiful oak and fern filled woodland so thank you for tuning in if you have enjoyed the video then the best thing you can do to help me grow my channel is to give it a thumbs up that really helps the algorithms of the channel and if you don't subscribe and you'd like to then please you know subscribe that really helps and if you want to know when my next video is out click the notification bell and that will let you know if you want to help support me make more videos like this and to help me get out more and help pay for the fuel I've also got a Patreon page set up and I'll leave a link for that also below any help towards fuel and food is greatly appreciated. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.